Hey guys, Heidi from Bobo's Mama here. Stay tuned for our third grade picks for this coming school year. So first up is language arts. I decided to go with learning language arts through literature. I wanted something that had multiple subjects in one and also required less planning and less preparation in my part. I love this curriculum because it targets reading, vocabulary, spelling, grammar, writing, and higher order of thinking skills. So what I love about this curriculum is that even though it's an integrated approach, it has several subjects, each lesson takes about one week, so there's about 36 lessons, and uh, they're divided by everyday words and literature links. So everyday words have about a few um, concepts that they cover in those lessons, and so this is the teacher manual right here. It tells me what the child will be reading and his copy work. Um, and like, for example, number one is going to be the first day. So he'll focus on saying the uh, spelling words and writing them. Assignment number two is the next day. And assignment number two comes with grammar guides. And we go over the pronoun for this particular lesson. This is lesson one. He has a few questions. And then uh, C, spell, and say. I like that. Uh, day three comes with his own assignments. Day four. And it has on the side a bunch of teaching tips. Uh, for your teaching um, guidance and um, so like I said I love that um, it's gonna take a slow approach it's not so overwhelming and I love that it does introduce cursive so he'll be learning little by little how to um, write cursive so that's it for the um, teacher manual this is the student workbook here um, it comes with his assignment, his copy work, and it gives him pretty much um, enough space for him to write his copy work. I think it would work. Um, he has to do his sentences. I'm sorry, his vocabulary. I like that it comes with some activities to, um, to focus for his lessons. And uh, I really do love the see, spell, and say. He has to see the words, his vocabulary words, say them, and then spell them. Um, the punctuation point is at the end and he has to do some sentence correcting So like I said each lesson takes about three days um, I'm sorry about five days and what I love about this um, Manual is that it comes with a three-hole puncher uh, three-hole punch the writing so you get to tear up the pages and add them to a binder So it'll be easier for him to write so this is the literature link here. Uh, this is where you would add the books that it comes with. And I'll show you in a minute what are the books. It gives you an option whether to actually do the books uh, with your child or actually do the story that comes in this um, workbook. So he has two options, the books or the stories, and there's works for both of them. And here are the books that it comes with. It comes with The White Stallion, Meet George Washington, and The Courage of Seven Noble, and also Madeline, which I haven't gotten yet. These are the ones we were using for the year. And that's it, you guys. There's so much more to this curriculum. I would love to do a longer, more in-depth video in the future. Uh, but for now, I'll just give you the main reasons why we chose to go with it for this coming year. For math, we decided to go with The Life of Fred. I've heard amazing reviews on this curriculum. It is literature based, but it is about a story of a little boy who is a teacher in Kittens University. <laughs> He's a professor and it's a light living book. So it's uh, everyday math in his everyday life. And what I love about it is that it's fun stories. Um, it's not so much worksheets and uh, there's a after the six pages that you will read, there's a your turn to, pay, to play portion. We'll be keeping a notebook for that. And in the back, it gives you the answers. So I really love this curriculum. I love that is um, engaging. And he right now has been doing CLE. So it's intense with the worksheet. So I'm glad to give him a break for this coming year. And this uh, curriculum comes with more books, but we'll get them as we go. Um, and I forgot to add, for language arts, we are going to be using these books right here. These were from Target. Um, they're just going to be substituting um, extra practi practice for his cursive. I think this will be good to add in there too. For history, we decided to stay with Becca. This is our America. Uh, right now we're doing grade one. It was a hand-me-down and I decided to start it and we have been really loving it. These are the subjects that it's going to be covering for this coming year. I love that it has questions in each workbook. Um, I love the pictures and also the subjects. 
and um, I love the teacher's manual. I love that it has the same um, pictures and stories um, so that he can I can follow with him, um, with my student. And my uh, teacher's manual comes with the answers and extra questions and extra activities for us to do with that lesson. Um, it also has vocabulary words at the bottom. And like I said, it comes with the answers for each of the lessons for the student. So I really love this curriculum in total. It's just a very well-rounded curriculum. For our science curriculum, we decided to go with Christian Kids Explore Biology. We wanted something that had a Christian base but uh, worldview integration. And this one really caught our eye. I'm going to link down below the video that uh, sold me on this curriculum. Uh, I really love the way they set this up and it's um, to be done in a year. It has 36 lessons. It's going to cover a lot of subjects. Um, from birds, um, taxonomy, human body, um, mammals in the wild. So this is just a few of the subjects that is going to cover in those 36 lessons. So each lesson is set out to be done in two days. So it's broken down in teaching time for one lesson and hands-on time in the other lesson. Each lesson comes with a, a coloring page in the front so the kids can listen to the story while they color. Um, I love that, um, like I said, it has a, it's Bible based, um, but it has the worldview uh, perspective in it. So it will show my kids um, the two views and why we believe in what we believe in. Um, and also, I love that it has, uh, when it, in the hands-on, it has three options that you could do for the hands-on activity so that you could choose what best goes with your family. Um, in the back, it has uh, more additional uh, coloring pages. It also has some um, verse cards that you can uh, reproduce and cut. And in the back, it also has the check it out, the daily reading sheet. These are reproductive sheets. Uh, the daily reading sheet is something we're supposed to be doing for each lesson. So I like that. Um, and like I said, these are reproductibles in the back uh, for field trip and for plant observation, which I love. It comes with maps. It's a lot here. There's so much that I can say about this curriculum. Of course, I think I would uh, prefer to do a separate video just for this curriculum to explain it to you further. So if you are interested, leave me a comment down below. I would love to do that for you. For health, we decided to do my body. I think this is such a cute curriculum. It's short and sweet. It's just gonna be a few lessons. And they get to learn about uh, their body, body parts, and organs and so forth a lot to learn but it's such a fun curriculum what they do is they have to trace their actual body size into a big paper um, and they start adding these um, body parts to that um, tracing that sketch so this is what body part one would look like body parts two will look like um, and then at the end of the project at the end of the lessons this is what the uh, entire uh, body will look like with all the pieces um, attached to it. Each lesson comes with an explanation of uh, the of that organ or the body part. So I'm going to use this book here as a substitute. This was a hand-me-down and I think it will have um, fun information for them to further mm -hmm. study on it. So for our art curriculum, we decided to stay with Draw Right Now. I really love this curriculum. Um, JL has been enjoying it. He loves to draw in color. It's going to go over Christopher Columbus, Autumn Harvest, and the weather this coming uh, year. And it does give you some pointers on how to teach it. I keep it nice and simple. We just focus on him learning how to draw. Um, and he can do his own background. And then he, he does the writing exercise, which is extra writing practice. And then we'll answer the quick question there. Um, I bought an extra one of these. This is the um, student. Um, it's like a student workbook. He has a t uh, the space to draw and the space to write. And I wanted to do this home art studio, um, third grade. This comes with 16 lessons. I got this idea from Confessions of a Homeschooler. And all I have to do is supply the materials so he can do his lesson it does send you a pdf file so that you can prepare the materials ahead of time which i love that so yeah this is our art curriculum right here so i saved the best for last and this is our bible curriculum for this coming year i went with we choose virtues and also our 
A Faith to Grow On by John MacArthur. It's an um, activity Bible that my church handed down to me. Um, I'm going to link down below the video that I saw that sold me on this We Choose Virtu Virtues curriculum. Her name is Maima from the Roth family. I really love her explanation on this, so I really don't think I could do a better job. So, but I will, I do want to do a separate video on this. I think this is going to benefit my entire family, which I love. For this Bible right here, A Faith to Grow On, it has uh, fun um, Bible stories. It comes with a word scramble, a word scramble. A quick prayer focus and and hands-on activity which I love because it's something we can do and they can remember the story it comes with the verses and then it brings it all together at the end so thank you so much for watching you guys if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time